If you're thinking about implementing any kind of time tracking system within your Monday.com instance, you probably have seen that Monday has a time tracking column. What I want to do today is show you how you can use that time tracking column, but then I want to compare it to an app called Seven Pace, which also does time tracking. I want you to understand the differences of using each, and that can help you make an informed decision about what the best way is to track your tasks and projects within Monday.com. So let's jump in. Hi, my name is Tara, and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Before we jump into this video, I want to let you know that this video was sponsored by AppFire. They are de the developers of 7Pace, but all the content ideas are my own. In order to do this comparison between the Monday time tracking column and 7Pace, you can see on this board that I set up a number of columns. Here with this little icon of the a clock, these are the Monday time tracking columns. And over here, these are the time tracking columns for 7Pace. I just thought it'd be easier to compare them side by side. So what I want to do is I want to go through how different people would use these two different time tracking options. And I think it will clearly highlight the difference between the two. So first, we're going to start with the obvious things that we have. Um, just to explain the board. We have the hours planned, then the actual time spent, and then we have a formula column which calculates the difference between the hours planned and the time tracking. As you can see, I have that over here in the Monday time tracking, and you can see I can gather that data from 7Pace as well. Now, let's start looking at this board as if we were someone actually doing the task. So it really doesn't matter what role you play, but you're someone that's doing a specific task. You can be a graphic designer, let's say a content writer. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. But the point is that you're not a manager, you're actually doing a task. So what we have here is we have one board with all of our client projects. Okay. And there's two different ways based on which timer, how we're going to signify what the client projects are. But essentially, we have three different client projects on this board. Now, someone working on this board would simply add a task. Like, let's say they have the task prepare mockups and they have the client name. If they're using the time tracker, what they do is they just come on. They simply start the time tracker and time starts for the task. When they're done with the task, they just stop the time tracker and the time has been calculated. So that's how you can do it with a time tracker. If you forget it, you can go back and you can just add a session manually. Let's say I just spent the last hour on it. I know it over exists with an existing time. So I'll just update it, but you can see, oh, I really meant AM, sorry. But you can see that I can easily add time to a task as well as I can add in the time later if I missed it. Now this is in the Monday time tracking column. Now let's go to the seven pace time. So if I wanna add a task, I have to open it here and I click on seven pace time tracker. I meant if I wanna add time to it. And what I can do is I quickly click on add time and I can either set a time frame, which is similar to what we had before, or I can just choose like an hour. And then I can also choose a client and I hit save. And we can see that I have also added the time in the exact same way. Now, if I forgot time, what I can do is I can click on add time. This is one way of doing it. But the other way of doing it is that I can actually go to my timesheet. And here you can see I have my timesheet. And let's just say here I realized, oh, I forgot to add time. I can quickly, quickly click on it, choose my board, choose the tasks. Let's say just add an hour, choose the client, and hit add time. So as someone working on different projects, it's, it's pretty similar that all I need to do is add time here or I'm adding time in the other um, in seven pace when I open the item. I think the biggest difference here is the timesheet that if you missed a task for here, you, you have to find the specific task. While if you're working in seven pace, you can go to the timesheet, which is the, the calendar or the, uh, you actually could go to the timesheet. I didn't even show you that, but you can go to the calendar and you can simply add time. And it's a really easy way to view the time and everything that you did 
throughout your day. So that's the difference of someone simply doing tasks. Then what I want to look at is what happens if someone's a manager and like, how do they view these tasks? So if a person is a manager, they would come to this board and obviously they can look through the tasks and now imagine you have hundreds of tasks. These are four tasks, so it's pretty straightforward. But imagine you're managing a lot of projects with a lot of time on it. Let's start with a view from the Monday time tracker. From the Monday time tracker, okay, you can see from here the time. If I want, I can filter. So let's just say I would filter by client. So I can see everything from simple day in one place. I also have some dashboards. So you can see I can have total time by client, total time by person, hours planned versus hours spent. And, you know, I can have like a specific time time of a specific person. And this could really be the first person's view that we spoke about, but I can view it in, in this different way. Like I can, this is how I would view using the Monday time tracker. Now, what happens if I want to see, you know, what did Tara do last week? Like what task did she do? I don't really have a clear view of what she did last week. I can sort things you know, if I go in here so I can look at the sort sorting, I would have to find the deadline and then I can search by last week, but I can't go in quickly and be like, okay, show me all the tasks that Tara did last month or show me all the tasks that Tara did this week. Now, and that's in contrast to seven pace because in seven pace, I can go into all times if I'm a manager and I can easily see like, okay, this is everything that Tara did. Actually, I'm not the only person. So let me, let me filter by myself. So where person is me. So now I can see everything that Tara did. Okay. But I also can change the time yesterday, current week, last week, last two weeks, I can have a specific date range, which, and this is, this in my mind is like a huge benefit. I can also group the information in different ways. So I can say, I want to group it, um, you know, let's say by date logs, however you want, but you have the option to group the information in a lot of different ways. When we're using the Monday time tracking, you don't have that same flexibility with seeing all of the tasks over time with all of this information. Now, keep in mind, I'm working on an example here that's one board, okay? Three projects, but one board. Now imagine if you have a lot of projects on a lot of different boards, you would have to create dashboards that pull all that time in. And as a manager, I think it's hard to see the big picture. With seven pace, to me, it makes it much easier to see the time by person, the time by project, and then having that dash, the charts that you can, sorry, having the table view over here where you can see everything spent. They also have charts and dashboards, which I didn't include here, um, but they are in previous videos about seven pace that you can check a link above. The last thing that I wanted to talk about is HR. Now, when HR needs to tally someone's hours, let's say at the end of the month, they would need to tally someone's hours. So if they're in the client projects board, as we were working on before, technically they can come in here and they can just look at, okay, let me see what Tara did for the month. And then I can open it and I see all the tasks. Now, right now there's one task. It's relatively straightforward. Imagine if there were 50 tasks that I did over the month, scrolling through this, trying to understand to make sense of this data is not so easy when you have so much information. Now take a step back and imagine that that was applied over a number of boards. So it just makes this dashboard a little more complicated. Yes, you can come look quickly at it, but if you need data to understand like where they spend time, what exactly they did from an HR perspective, you don't see that here. Now I wanna look at the, the seven pace for a second because I can go into the times and like I said, this is similar to the manager view. I can see the total time by person, what they did it on, what board, if I need what project, if I need what client. You could see that I have, if I go to the, here I have the total time by clients because that's how I grouped it by. If I go into a person's dashboard, so then I can automatically see go to their timesheet and I see a total. But one of the huge advantages that seven pace also has is you can also track billable time versus non billable time. So if I open up client projects, and this is something that I think is really cool. And I click on the main table and I'm going to open the seven pace app. Now I have to set it up in settings. So if I go to app features and then I have the settings, 
So see, I have this option of billable. I can turn this on and off, okay? So what that means is now I can add time. Let's say I wanna add time for a client, but it's not billable or it is billable. So I can hit, oh, I need to add an amount, sorry. <laughs> so I can save that information and then we can go back and look at the timesheets I meant over here. And we can also see like time billable versus not, not billable, which is a big difference in the Monday time tracker. And here, sorry, you would just see that over here where I can sort by, um, I can sort by billable or not billable. But if I go back to the Monday time tracker, there's no way to have that level of complexity. If I want to download time so I can download the whole board, then I get this Excel. If I want to download this, I can I can export each item, but that doesn't really give me enough data in order to be able to see the information from an HR point of view that I would need to analyze someone's work performance. So just to summarize, we have we're looking, we looked at three different people, an actual worker doing tasks, a manager, and someone in HR. And I think that while the you can see here the Monday time tracking column, how you could get the same kind of data, like hours planned, total time tracking, and then how much is left. We have that same information about seven pace. But what you lose in using the Monday time tracker is you don't have the complexity of being able to add these custom fields to sort information. You don't have the timesheets. You don't have the calendar where someone can go in and add information on the calendar and you don't have those timesheets. And that's what I think being able to sort through the timesheets and all the tasks were completed during those times is a huge, huge advantage. And if you're serious about time tracking and you need this data, either for management or for yourself or for HR, I highly recommend that you check out this seven pace app. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.